Hi, my name is Manoli and I am a beginner at Fluid Art. Um, I've been practicing now about a couple months and I'm still learning. So I thought it'd be cool if I kind of document my journey and um, hopefully uh, many can learn from my own mistakes. So I'm gonna, I've been practicing a couple months now so I'm actually gonna show you what I've done so far. This was my first painting right here. It turned into like a brown mud and then I scraped it off, okay? This one here was my next one. I didn't know anything at the time about how to get cells or whatever, so I just like mixed the paints together and I poured them on there. And with each painting, I learned a lot about uh, what to improve on the next one. This was my next one and I, was, I didn't realize how fragile these paintings were, so I accidentally uh, put something on there and then it splattered and then it just kind of ended up looking like that. So that's one lesson I learned is to be very careful when handling these uh, canvases. So in this painting right here, I attempted to get cells, okay? Now, I thought uh, just using a torch would bring out the cells, but apparently not. And I can't even remember how much, how many different things I mixed up in here, but I did get some cells, but my mistake was I torched it way too much. And if you could see, the painting cracked in different areas and turned out really dry and kind of bland. Okay. And then there's this painting right here. So this one didn't turn out too bad, I thought. I, I did get cells, but... I think I put too much water in my mix and the consistencies of the paints were different in this one. Um, I used uh, some metallics um, and I also torched this one a little too much as well. So maybe with uh, some varnish, uh, this one could be saved, but that was uh, one mistake that I learned. And uh, we're gonna be doing a painting here just in a second. Okay, after that one, I did this one right here. I attempted to get cells in this one, and I did, but as you can see, they kind of spread a little too much. So, um, but I thought this one was pretty cool, actually. I like it, I like the colors that I use, but there was still a lot of uh, room for growth in this one right here. And what I did next was this one right here. And I got cells, they kind of turned out too big. This one is sort of still dry and I have to wipe off the, uh, the excess silicone that I put on there. Okay, but I, I kind of like the design and how I did this one. I like the, the color contrast as well. Okay. And after I did the previous one, I had a lot of uh, extra paint left over, and that's another thing I'm learning is to use just the right amount of paint for each painting. So this one right here is kind of whatever. Um, there are like cells in there, just a little bit, okay. And then um, I had extra paint, so I, I made that thing you see in the middle, whatever that is. Um, a lot of people like this one. I'm just kind of like whatever, but. Uh, but it's not bad. Okay. All right. And then this one right here is my favorite so far. I did get some uh, pretty cool looking cells. Um, I like how everything turned out right here. I kind of used the cup and I just kind of like popped it open like that. Um, I also used, uh, my base pour was uh, black on this side and then white on this side right here. And, um, and I love the, the, the vibrant colors that I chose in this one. Okay. And now I'm gonna try another painting. Now one thing I've recently learned about a lot about is um, how much silicone to put in each paint and I'm making sure to have a base pour. So I've learned from those mistakes, I hope. So we're just gonna have to see how uh, this one turns out. 
And just so everybody knows, I'm open to um, all feedback that anybody has, okay? All right. Okay, so because I haven't really um, figured out exactly how to tilt the camera, so that's why I'm down here talking to you like this. But um, so uh, th this one, I'm gonna actually just attempt to, to work on my cells and, um, and see uh, how I do with that. Um, I like that uh, I don't have a specific plan. Uh, I think one of my favorite things about this art is that I don't know how it's gonna turn out exactly. Um, and most of the times it, it doesn't turn out anything like I had planned. So what I'm gonna do is I got my gloves on, so I'm gonna go over the paints, okay? So I have three different colors, okay? I got yellow, I got this uh, light magenta that I found, I think it's pretty cool. And I got this, I think it's the cobalt blue, okay? And this is the, uh, it's a neon yellow. Um, and each of these cups has uh, two ounces of paint. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is, I realized that uh, silicone, I used to put, pour it in there, like 10 drops like per ounce, and then uh, that's why I haven't really been as successful with cells, but I realized that just even a drop of silicone goes a really long way. So this mix right here is, it's a one part paint and two parts Floetrol, and I use a scale, I measured every single one of them, um, and I pre-mix all my paints uh, as soon as I get it in the, uh, the tube. All right, so what I'm gonna do with that right there, see how this turns out. Okay, all my paints are the same consistencies. Uh, one part paint, two parts Floetrol. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do one drop. Okay. And one thing that I'm still learning is just how much to, to mix each color. I think if I mix it too much, I haven't gotten a straight answer yet as to how many times you should uh, stir or how that influences uh, the how many cells you get or how big or small they are. Okay, here's another one. One drop, boop. Okay, let's do a little mix right there. And one drop. Boop. All right. Another one. Okay, so in this bottle, I just have some uh, leftover um, black that I use as a base coat. I remember when I started, I didn't even have a base coat. I'm gonna share something really embarrassing. The first time I did it, Fluid Art, I didn't know anything about it, nor did I do any research. So uh, all I did was I took the paint straight from a tube and uh, expected it to flow. And that's where the, the picture I showed you with a brown mush, that's how it turned out. Okay, so I'm gonna start and I'm gonna pour some black right in the middle. Okay. All right, and this is where I get nervous, right when you're about to first pour. By the way, all this, um, this is all the same brand. This is um, Master's Touch uh, acrylic paint, um, which uh, they don't offer the, I can't find their densities anywhere. So if anybody knows that, please let me know. Um, but the consistency of the paint is uh, all the same.
And we'll spin. I wanna see if I can get some of that blue to break up a little bit. No, it's actually, it's a very interesting looking painting. Huh? All right. All right, so I think I'm gonna give it one more torch. So whoever watched this, thank you for watching. Um, and I'm open to all feedback. Again, I'm just a beginner, but uh, learning a lot. All right, thank you, bye. Actually, I take that back. I'm not done yet. Um, that, kind of, that blue part, I kind of want to do something else to it. Um, so I think I'm gonna experiment really quick. I'm gonna try to like cut it up a little bit with some yellow. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put that right there. Let's see if this works. that a little bit better okay all right bye